Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I am going to share a cute uh, 3D project with you that features a couple of items from Celebration. I am using the Epic Celebrations stamp set. This is a level 1 freebie during Celebration. So that means you can earn the stamp set with a minimum $50 purchase before tax and shipping and you get it for free. So it's so awesome. Freebies are fantastic. I love Celebration. And then I'm also using the Bubbles and Fizz designer series paper. I was excited to use this. I've seen a lot of people using it and it looks like such fun paper and it is. So let me show you today's project. So here's the little box um, that we're going to make today. So I have two versions. There's the Bermuda Bay version and then the Lemon Lime Twist. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Lemon Lime Twist version. But um, every month I do a make and take with my team of Quita Bug Stampers. And for the month of February, this was um, the make and take that we made at our live team meeting and so they will each receive the um, consumable supplies to make uh, either the lemon lime twist or the Bermuda Bay version um, of the project. So I want to show you this is really cute you can actually fit all sorts of different little treats in here candies chocolates um, since I have these little headphones on here what I put inside of mine which I thought was so cute is just a little piece of chocolate and then an iTunes gift card how cool is that so it's kind of a it could make a really great masculine gift idea um, or a great idea for <clears throat> well everybody loves music but or a great idea for um, teenagers um, I thought that was so cute to put an iTunes gift card in there with these headphones so okay let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how easy it is to make this cute little treat box all right, so I've already got my supplies ready here. So I'm gonna start with this piece of lemon lime twist. This is cut at four and a half inches by seven inches. And we're actually going to do some background stamping. So I'm gonna bring in just a scratch sheet of computer paper here and my lemon lime twist ink pad. And then from the stamp set, I'm gonna use this little image of dots right here, that little cluster of dots and I'm going to create my own background paper. So we're going to do a little tone on tone look here and I am just going to start stamping. I'm gonna to try to make sure I'm keeping with a triangle formation, like little clusters of three um, as I stamp this image repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take this little piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then my little set, my little, um, yeah, pair of headphones. And I'll just stamp these in the center. I want these to go ahead and start drying while we do the um, scoring for the gift card holder. All right, so I've got my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer here. I'm gonna use this for all of my scoring, but you could also use the um, Simply Scored scoring board. So with the short side of my cardstock at the top of my um, trimmer, I'm going to score the long side at half an inch, and then I'm going to rotate this around and score the opposite long side at a half an inch as well. Then with the long side, the seven inch side across the top, I'm going to score at two and a half inches, three inches, five and a half inches, and six inches. And that's it, pretty easy scoring. Alrighty, got my bone folder here and I'll just give all of those score lines a nice crease here. All right, so I've got those all creased. So you can see when you fold this holder over, you've got one side that is a little bit um, thinner than the other. You see how wide this side is? We wanna take this flap that's a little less wide and we are going to take our snips or whatever scissors you have and we're going to cut this rectangle right here and that little square we're going to take that off so i'm going to cut all the way up to that three inch score line that we made and i'm going to trim that right off okay just like that so we've got this little piece off and then i'm going to go ahead and come down here to this little square 
and snip this as well. Okay, just like that. And then same thing on the other side. We're gonna cut that piece off and then we're going to snip that little square. All right, so this is what you are left with once you've cut those pieces off and then you've cut in and made these little tabs. This is what you should have. So what we're gonna do is, this is actually the top of the holder. So we're gonna fold these tabs in. These tabs are going to come to the front and then these tabs right here will go to the back so that you don't see that little seam. So those will go to the back just like that. So then what we need to do is put adhesive right here on these two flaps and fold them to the back. So I am going to use my fast fuse. You could also use tear and tape or liquid glue. I just wouldn't recommend snail. I don't think it would be strong enough. All right, so fold those in, fold those to the front, and then fold this tab to the back. Give that a press. All righty. Pull that to the back. All right, just like that. Okay, so then this flap folds forward just like this. So then what we're going to do um, is I've got a little belly band here that we're going to wrap around. So this is some of that Bubbles and Fizz designer paper. Um, this piece has Bermuda Bay on the front. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to actually wrap this around and pinch it to make my own score lines because we want this belly band to be able to slide off. So I don't want to actually score it exactly because I don't want it too tight. So I'm just going to put it on right about there and give it a pinch on that edge and then I'll do the same thing on this back edge give it a pinch and then wrap this around line that up do the same thing just kind of pinch it so now that I've got those little pinch marks I can actually go ahead and give those a little crease so I'm just going to press down and where I pinched it I'll just crease it All right, so I've got that. So then what I'm going to do is just wrap this around, line up those sides of that belly band. Perfect. So I'll just add some adhesive here. Line it up and adhere it down. Okay, that looks good. And now, see, it can move and slide and it's easy, it'll be easy to open. All right, all right, so now I'm just going to go back to my little headphones and I'm gonna bring in my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Right marker. I was so excited to um, use the Stampin' Right markers because I've kind of neglected them since the blends came out. I'm gonna bring in um, an example of how I colored it. Um, I've neglected these and I thought, you know what, I need to show the, uh, Stampin' Right markers some love, so I was excited to use these. Um, and these are in our annual catalog. And the thing that you have to remember about the Stampin' Rights is they are not designed to do what the blends can do, okay? These are designed just for, you know, the fun of adding color, um, but not for doing what the blends can do. So when you're using these, you want to be really quick with your movements. You don't want to sit in one spot coloring for too long because what will happen is your paper is going to start to peel and tear. You're gonna have very uneven coloring. They're just not designed for that, but they're really great markers and they are fun to use. You can color in images like I'm doing or you can use them to um, color directly onto your stamps um, so that you can color, you can stamp in a variety of colors they're really great, but I don't use them enough, so I'm just glad to break them out for this project. Okay. Alrighty. And this little centerpiece. 
and then mm, this little piece right here. There we go. And these are available in every color that we have um, in the online store right now. So that's also really cool. All right, so let me just show you those little headphones up close. See, turned out really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is bring in my one and three quarter inch circle punch and punch these out. So now we can just layer up these pieces. So what I did is I punched out using the two inch circle punch. I punched out some of that Myths and Magic Glimmer paper. This is the green color, but it looks so close to, to Lemon Lime Twist. I love this stuff. Let me give you a close up of this. Isn't that pretty? I love this glimmer paper. And then for this piece of basic black, I used the Starburst Punch to punch that out. I've already got some fast fuse on the back of here. And I will just add this right on in the center here, right about there. Then we'll just put some dimensionals on the back and just make sure that you put them in the center so that they're only on your belly band because you wanna be able to slide this off and if your dimensionals um, are on the sides, then it's going to adhere your belly band to the box and make it harder to open up the little treat box. So just give that a press. All right, and there we go. There is our little gift box. I think it's so cute. I really, really love how this turned out. Let me give you just a close up there of the Bermuda Bay. So like I said, you can fit a lot of different treats in here. And the finished measurements of this box are two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Okay. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick and easy 3D treat box tutorial. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this box with you guys. So remember, you can find all of the measurements for today's project over on today's coordinating blog post. It's linked just below the video in the description notes. I've also got all of the supplies listed over there, but I've also got those supplies in the video description with clickable links so that you can place your order today. So thanks again, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.